So um, when people work with somebody like you, right, what's like your role and what can they expect from you? Well, a big part of my role, first of all, people come to me because I am an expert in what I have to share and mm -hmm. I have a deep level of experience. So most people who come to me for some kind of reflection and work, they do it because they they know me and they trust me. And not necessarily that they know me personally, but it, it's a comment that a lot of people make when I, you know, I do a lot of these video calls with people. And usually if it's somebody who's brand new, they will start with, well, I feel like I know you because I've read your books. I've listened to your talks. You know, um, I, I'm really familiar with your voice. That's one that I get a lot uh, because people listen to me. Um, but they're coming to me because they trust me and they feel that I've got a perspective. Like, again, a lot of people, when they first meet me, they say, I don't know anybody else that I would trust talking to about these issues. Mm -hmm. Right. So providing sort of a, a trusted figure that they can speak with and reveal themselves to, I think is really important. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the next thing, that's really important would be uh, listening. And I know it can be hard to, to imagine because, you know, if you ask me questions, I will just talk endlessly. I'm just such a talker. I've got so much information that I'll, I'll talk forever. But a huge role of either providing mentorship or guidance or integration support for people, a huge part of it is listening. Mm. And part of listening is knowing what are the right questions to ask so that I can get the information. And another big part of it is also watching and feeling while listening. So it's not just what people are saying, but how they are saying it, how they're expressing themselves, how they're embodying themselves, what kind of gestures or movements they're making, what their body posture is. And so looking at this whole package of mm -hmm. this person is now telling me their story and I'm also looking at how are they energetically presenting themselves as they're telling this story. And then um, it's quite often the case that people are coming with various questions or confusions. And th th those can range anywhere from the theological to the philosophical and the ontological and then down to the practical of, well, this was my experience of working with this psychedelic and like, what the hell was that? Like what happened, you know, like in telling me the details of their experience. Yeah. So um, I try and provide clear intellectual frameworks through which people can understand things and reflect upon, and then also give very practical, specific, individuated advice or techniques for how they can work with whatever they're experiencing now or whatever it is that they've been through. Um, so I do pride myself, you know, in my capacity as, as this mentor and as um, an integration coach or advisor that I do say that my approach is very rational, it's very grounded, and it's very, um, very specific to individuals mm -hmm. as well. And mm -hmm. so I want people to be able to feel that they've been heard that they have not been bullshitted, that they have not just been told what they want to hear, because sometimes it can be rather challenging to let people know, okay, so I think you're really supporting a belief system there. I think that that's actually speaking to your ego, and I don't think it's helping you. So I like to say that a large part of the process is giving what I call honest assessment. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then just helping people feel seen and heard in a way that um, really allows them to have their experience. So often when I'm speaking with people, it does get very emotional that they sh they're sharing some of the deepest, most difficult, most challenging aspects of their lives and of their personality yeah. and allowing them to be seen and heard and valued and also encouraged to, okay, so keep loving yourself. And if you yeah. don't know how to do that, we're gonna try and help you find yeah. how you can do that. So yeah. generically speaking, that's what I try and do.